So what exactly is 64-bit architecture? Is it better than 32-bits or do we have any advantages in using it? Stay tuned to learn more. Most people have a misconception that 64-bit operating systems and processors run faster than 32-bits. Well, uh, in some case, yes, they do, but then it depends. So what exactly is a bit here? A bit is a single character in binary language, either one or zero. So it can express only up to two values. With two bits, we can express up to four values. So the more bits we add, we increase the number of values it can represent. So bits here, with respect to processors and operating systems, refers to the memory a processor can recognize or address. So while a 32-bit processor would recognize for up to 4 gigs of memory, a 64-bit processor would recognize for up to 16 billion gigabytes of RAM. So 64-bit is only beneficial when you have applications, games or programs which require more than 4 gigs of memory, which is not the case with most of the games and applications in our cell phones. But then why do we have 64-bit processors? 64-bit processors have more data buses, more resistors. It can run 32-bit applications. 32-bit processor cannot handle 64-bit applications, games or programs. And 64-bit applications would run best in 64-bit processors or operating systems. So now the conclusion time. It is good to spend on 64-bit processors because this is a necessary transition nowadays, but we should only spend on 64-bit processors if we really need more than 4 gigs of RAM. It is basically a marketing strategy from manufacturers to sell their products. Thanks for watching the video guys. Hit that like button if you like the video. Leave a comment below for new ideas and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and share our videos.